To add a Tejimdi interpreter to a Zoom meeting or other online meeting software, open your Tejimdi app, select the language pairing of your choice, and for best results, select the interpreting filter. While that's not necessary, it will increase your chance of a proper match since it will inform our volunteer interpreters that somebody requiring a phone call is reaching out. We recommend waiting at least two minutes before cancelling a request. Once you're matched with an interpreter, we recommend introducing yourself and giving some context. This can include the context surrounding the situation, what you need them for, and the duration you need them for. In situations where you're adding them to a Zoom call, it helps to explain that as well. To add the interpreter to the online meeting software, press the phone icon in the upper right hand corner to get on an internet call. Next, click the icon of the person with the plus sign next to it. Here. You'll either add the OneTap mobile number located in the meeting invite. The OneTap mobile number usually includes the number to call into, two commas, the meeting ID, and a hashtag. You can also insert the actual dial-in number, add your own two commas, the meeting ID, and the hashtag instead. The Tajimni mobile app automatically has the US area code at the start of the number. That's plus one. So if your meeting dial-in number also contains the plus one in front of it, make sure to erase the one on the app before adding in the number. Next, click the green phone icon to the right of the number to be connected to the meeting. This may take a few seconds, so be patient. Depending on the software, you may hear a message saying you're waiting to be let in to the meeting. Once the interpreter is connected to the meeting, be sure to close the Tejimni app to avoid an echo. The interpreter will stay on the call. Once you're done with your meeting, be sure to go to the Tejimni app to end the session.